This game came out last summer. I think it is zombie themed, but I'm not 100% sure. I like to try to make the games as vague as possible before I go in, so that way I'm surprised. And it's a free game, which really intrigued me. So I think it's probably going to be good. I don't know. I have a good feeling about this game. And that's why I've like saved it all this time and have remembered to come back to it. Because... I don't know, man. And I think it's also probably supposed to be a little funny, but we'll see. And also kind of Roblox-y looking, as, as you can see by these character models a little bit that are on the screen. So let's get into it. Let me check options real quick before I do. Sure, this all looks fine. Controls. Let's see. Flashlight. Yup, yup. That's, that's all the usual things. All right, we can get into it. Yippee. Ooh, 2015. A deadly parasite sweeps across the planet. The infected dub Zeds become highly aggressive, biting those around them. Infection takes over a host instantly while also killing the original host. It spreads faster than can be anticipated. Nowhere is safe. Okay. Enter. Five years later. The world is now overrun. Survivors keep the world running however they can. The infected mutate to find new hosts. May 2020, Upper Hutt, Wellington, New Zealand. Okay. Jill, her husband Josh, and their son Daniel are happy. They love playing cards together. They are a family. They survive. It is supposed to be a normal supply run in a safe area of the ruined city. Danny chases a dropped soccer ball down a dark alley. A lingering Zed bites him. He bites his father, who had tried to save him. Jill hesitates as what was once her husband steps towards her. The gun is heavy in her hand, and her heart pounds in her ear. She pulls the trigger. A shot rings out across the city. June 2020, present. Newton, Wellington, New Zealand. Jill arrives home to her apartment after a two-day supply run. She turns on her laptop. Oh. And that's where it starts. Turning on our laptop. It's cool that this still works during a zombie apocalypse. I guess let's log into our husband's thing if we can. Oh, I guess we can't. Okay. That would make sense because he would have it password protected. What should I look at first? Maybe this? Alright. Oh, there are people online. Okay, let's see this one. Never give up. Blah, blah, blah. Back online. Good. Okay, okay. Phew, I was worried. Sorry to pounce, Jilly. Haven't seen anyone online for a day or so. What's happening? Hey Willow, you knew I was on a supply run, right? What's going on? Oh, that's cool. We can see them in real time typing. I don't know. I knew you were gonna go dark for a while. Standard supply run stuff you told me, but ugh. News coming out of the hut region says there's some new raiders moving through. A couple of folks have gone dark without warning. Tower 10, you know that group? I remember. Cassidy and her crew, right? What happened? While he's typing, let me look around at other things. So this person I don't have history of messages with. Oh wow, last message received, 2003. Alright, oh, let me see if there's any old messages here. Nope. And no. Alright, so it's just this guy, person. No idea, their connection- wait, what uh, oh, okay, their connection might be fried, they might have been caught by Zeds or they could just be gone. They sent something about raiders and thing out of there for two days, I hate waiting, you know? Oh wait, did I already read this part now that I think about it? But anyways, no raiders. I'm fine, got through the supply run, didn't see anything outside of the usual wandery dead lads. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay. Well, that's some good news. Okay, gotta ask the usuals. One sec. Pasting from the civil defense site like usual. Agitation, flu like symptoms, unusual hunger towards human flesh. Further symptoms as covered in the latest civil defense updates. Any of those look like you? Oh, I can skip him typing. You know that's what they all say just before the Zeds bust the door down, right? Oh geez, I just freaked myself out. Haha, <laughs> but not haha fu <laughs> funny, more like haha, <laughs> whatever, never mind. How are the supplies looking now, anyway? Uh... Hmm. Ill mill, so funny. How's the ammo? Low. Down to one, that last bullet. 
Let me skip. And, and what? What sort of question? Oh, right, no plans to use it, if that's what you're asking. Last conscious action only. I mean, how are you holding up after the whole, you know, the, the, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, how was Wellington? Too quiet. I remember how loud the city used to be, how much noise there was. Now it's just completely silent out here. Probably a good sign. Wanders are quiet. Clickers. Wait. What do they mean, clickers? That's where they... Oh, he's writing too much. That's where they start getting the bad kind of dangerous. Absolutely the opposite here in Christchurch. Bogans keep deciding to go out, guns blazing and doing donuts outside and just keeps bringing the wanderers back in. It's warm central. Shout out to the dude over on the roof there, smoking a durry and blasting the dudes on an old boombox. Oh, I can click on the picture. Cool. <laughs> there he is. Judgment Day is here. Oh. Very cool. Can I zoom in more? No. Okay. Eh, uh, that sounds familiar. Wait. Oh. Okay. I like want to go explore other things on here, but this guy's talking to me for a while. I swear they could have just stayed in bubbles like the website said and we'd probably be zed free by now. Zombies don't listen. Can't the zombies just simply not bite my face? Would it kill them to wear masks? At least the swarms keep the raiders out, and you'd be an idiot to try to raid here anyway. I really hope that stays true. Hmm, it's weird, I seem to be getting a message from someone else. Oh, May. It, this is her sister? Why? I know this previously said 2003 was the last time they talked. That doesn't make sense. All right, so he's done talking to me for now. Can I- oh, I can move. Okay, great. Perfect. So is this Willow? Oh. Okay. So let me look at this. Oh, okay, okay. Now let me look at her thumbnail. Cute. How do I close this? Oh. All right. Okay, I think we might be able to, f oh, I was gonna say we can finally start exploring the rest of the computer. It might just be, I think it probably is mostly just messaging different people and seeing a story unfold, which is fine. I actually like games like that here and there. Just about ready to clean elsewhere. Skip that. As mum always said, lonesome hands makes lousy homes. Okay, may maybe we're good now. Alright, so no one else is messaging me right now. Oh wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Who this? Who this? Let me look at his thing. Holy shit, I can't believe how hard it was to get that set up. Oh my god, why can't I swear this stupid app? Jill, hell yeah, you're online. How you been? Comfortable. Hey, Ollie. Yeah, I've been just fine. Ammo's a bit low, but you know, that's fine. How are you? Heck yeah. Sorry, I remember no all caps. Haha. It's so good to see you online again. It's been so long since we actually talked. Couple years, I think, maybe. It must have been before the outbreak. Holy shit, time flies. Yeah, that's five years, right? Let me move these around a bit more. Be cool to have them all up at the same time. All right. Wait, what's this in the background? Oh, nothing. I assume Drippy's gonna come. Oh, look, they're all talking to me. Can you, let's see, I've been trying to get in touch with Josh ever since I moved. Oh, can you get him to reply? You're still married, right? Haha. <laughs> Sorry if you're not awkward. He's dead, he's dead friend, but we're gonna go over here now. Hey, Will just told me about the Raiders thing. Is everything okay there? May Ollie just asked about Josh. I guess so. He doesn't know. I have to tell him. I might be the only one who can. Okay. I know I said this was this when it happened, but it was wasn't your fault. <laughs> Funny. It's okay, May. I know what I did and I'm doing what I can to make peace with it. Okay. Maybe telling Ollie will help. Maybe not. I don't know. Moving on would be good though, right? 
May I? I don't know. I can't just move on from it. And maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to this forever. Maybe closure is for other people. I'm not saying forget him. I just don't think Josh would want you to be hurting forever. Sorry, I don't know. Thanks, May. You're, you're probably right about that one. Let me tell Ollie. I'll see how I feel after. Maybe this will help. Good luck, sis. Heart, heart, heart. Ollie is typing. Are you there? Or is this thing conked out again? Uh... <clears throat> let's see. I don't know. I kind of don't want to tell him. Before I tell him, let me actually see if I can explore some of these other things real quick. Alright, here we go. So this is my page. Environmentalist. Married. Okay. Comments. Oh, there aren't that many comments here, actually. Let me see. Her and Ripley being cute on that. Oh, I can go right to his profile. Oh no, there's Ollie being like, oh, where are you? I'm so sad. Oh, he thinks he's a douche. All right. Uh, t -t -t. His mum died. This one's my sister's profile, right? Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> she did this while there was the outbreak. Okay. Let's see, whose profile have I not checked out yet? I think I've... well, maybe not Willow, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, so they're explaining the clicking zombie a bit. I'm pretty sure this game is like referencing slash making fun of COVID and trying to make smart political commentary on it through this game, but I'm not sure. I didn't expect it to be like that. I thought it was just a fun, cute zombie game. So, hmm. Okay, we're caught up on her. Oh wait, who's Bill McLaughlin? Nothing. Korean enthusiast. Likes nothing. Okay, let me go back to my own profile, which I think I just click on this. Alright, uh, yeah, I think we're all- that's the only- th okay, I was gonna say that's the only thing we can look at on the internet, but here we go. Due to the viral outbreak spreading faster than anticipated, the government has declared a nationwide state of emergency. As of this date, you will be required to stay home and adhere to the following rules. Avoid contact with all persons, regardless of whether they show symptoms or not. Remain at home at all times, except when gathering food resources. Something something about avoiding going outside. This page will be updated as the situation changes. Page last updated almost a year ago. Daily recipe. Hungry and frozen. It's just a blog of recipes. I don't think I need to know this recipe, so we're probably not going to really read through it, but if you want, you can certainly pause and do so yourself. Can I- can I type in- Oh, can I? Hmm. Well, this implies though that maybe I will find some website names that I can use at some point. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, we'll probably eventually do more with that, I assume. And let's see, I don't think there was anything in the email. Oh wait, there is. There's one junk mail. Uh, the Lord has blessed all of us, the chosen ones to take part in the wondrous gift that is changing of this world. Join me as we celebrate the cleansing of the evil from this beautiful world and give into the light as the Lord wishes us. Bless this world by painting your walls in the blood of your enemies. And this was actually sent a couple-ish years ago. Surprised there isn't really anything else in her email. Okay, what's yak? Oh, it's okay. It's this Pooter local. Oh, 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 we got stuff here. Okay Windows I don't see anything here. So Win log. Oh wait, is this like a website I could type in? Oh, oh, oh my goodness We don't have to be at the computer at all. I thought this game was gonna be fully on the computer. Oh my god, we have a whole house. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's close all this real quick. I don't I don't know how to blah blah any of this. Hopefully it's not important. 
Doesn't seem like there's an option to like copy paste any of this stuff. So I don't think there's anything I can do with this right now. I'm just gonna mind my business. Like I said, there's a whole house to explore, so maybe me being at the computer isn't as important as I thought. Mm. Okay, close that. Oh, it's 2.12 a.m. there? Oh, wait, wait a second. I was gonna say, is that the time that it is in real life right now? It's not. It's 12.24 where I'm at right now. Alright, so let me tell, before I go explore the house, let me do this. The big reveal that my husband is dead. Ollie, that's that's a complicated... Okay, okay, Ollie, I don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna have to just start telling the story, and I'm sorry, but I gotta keep going until it's done. Oh. Okay. Josh is dead. He died a month ago. Pikachu face. One second, I have to do a coffee. <clears throat> what happened? We were on a supply run, we couldn't leave Danny behind, and we were more effective as a team than alone, so we had him with us, and he, he got distracted and we were dealing with something else. Our child ran off. It was just a second, but that's enough. We turned our backs and Danny was down the alley and one of those fucking Shambler things got him. Josh ran on ahead. I was following at a distance. Some of the Zeds were around. I didn't- I didn't want to set them off. I didn't. I was scared. Let's see. Josh found Danny, tried to save him, tried to fight off the Shambler. I had the gun. He had the machete. He got a bit- wait, he got bit and turned. I had to shoot him. You know what happens when it takes hold. I had to watch as took him over. His eyes, they were locked on me when I got hold of him and I did the thing that I had to do. I don't know if I should have shot him before the light went out in his eyes, but I know that he was never coming back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ollie, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could have told you before I should have, but it's so recent. I can still see it when I close my eyes. I can still feel the kickback from the gun when I look at my hand. I killed him because I didn't save him and now your friend is dead and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Are you there? Hmm. Oh, he's typing. Why? Yeah, I'm here. It's a lot. He would have said something if he was still alive. I know that, but I didn't know that closure was gonna hurt that bad. Sounds like my dude was a hero though, right? Fought to the end. Thanks for letting me know. Couldn't have been easy for you. So I'm not so good with my words and stuff, but my mum passed. No Zed stuff, no heroics, just, you know, she wasn't all there before the outbreak and she hadn't been eating and then she didn't wake back up one day, gone in her sleep, couldn't stay in the house anymore. That's our, uh, terrible, Ollie. I remember your mum, she was lovely. It sounds like she went peacefully. So surprised, haha, we're actually neighbors now. Oh no. Because <laughs> I was actually thinking when I first told him this that he was going to be really mad and would like come to my place and kill me and that's that's what the game would be. But uh, we'll see. So far it seems like he's taking things well. I saw you bringing that stuff in, reset my chat login and reached out. Glad you responded. So am I, Ollie. It's good to know you're around. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if that's good. Anything you need? Actually, screwdriver got one. The place I'm holed up in is a bit janky and a few things must have got busted during the outbreak. Been sleeping late since I noticed that the door's off a hinge. Everything in the apartment was put together with Allen keys. We never needed a screwdriver. I'll see about getting you one if I find one. Hey, actually, I might know where to get one. The dude who lives across from you, Henry. He loved his motorbikes and stuff, so might have tools around, though he has been pretty quiet recently, so uh, good luck if you decide to go looking. How exactly would I get it to you? Are you expecting me to deliver it that way? Can it hold up? No, don't do that. Don't no. Okay, good. Okay, that sounds much more reasonable. If Henry's there, I'll ask him, and if he's not, what's a little breaking and entering between friends, right? Room 202, yeah? 
You are a legend. I can already feel an actual night's sleep coming on. Holy shit, I need to cut back on the energy drink starting now. Okay, so now the game's prompting me to explore. Yay. All right. We have a whole house. Oh, our apartment. And we need to go to room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this at all. I didn't think there would be any hiding involved. I'm just practicing how to peek. All right. So that's another mechanic now to the game. All right. I mean, you would think I'd be safe in my apartment, right? Like, why would I need to hide? Also, I wish I had a flash- oh, there we go. I know it's so dark over here. Oh, this is the outside? Kind of looks like there's a zombie person there. Oh no, are they heading this way? Fuck. Maybe I made a mistake. Oh fuck. I should have minded my business. Toilet paper. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here for me. There's not really that much that I can interact with in this game, unlike other games, so... It's pretty straightforward. I'm just a little nervous because I saw that one zombie person heading towards the building. So that's probably something I have to deal with now. But at least we know of one uh, hiding spot. Any others? Is it is it just the closet in my room? Can I do some more chores before I leave? Can I get something to eat? No? Oh. Alright. I'm nervous, but we're gonna have to head out. Oh, it's right across from me. Let me close this. Just so a zombie hopefully doesn't come into my room while I'm doing this. Alright, so... I said I was gonna break in if the guy didn't open the door, but like... How? I don't have anything. I don't want to go anywhere. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. You know? I don't know what that something is, I don't know. I definitely don't want to go through the fire escape. Let me close this real quick. Can I put the- yeah, let's block the door real quick. So let me look around in case there's a utensil that I forgot about. Or maybe I go back to the computer and tell them that the door is locked. And that'll prompt some more talking about what I should do next. Maybe. Oh right, I forgot I have this flash. Oh, there's one extra room. This room might have what I need. Also, I wish I could close these curtains, man. I don't want to attract any more shamblers, if that's what they're called. Alright, we, we don't seem to have anything in this room, unfortunately. Alright. Okay, let me see if he has anything to say. Uh, no. Room 2000, I mean 202, yeah. Confirmed, it's right in front of my face, I saw it. I have no way to break in. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 I didn't mean to go in there. All right, let's try this again. Can I, ooh, look how fast I can run. Fun. Well, now that I have the flashlight, I could see into this fire escape. I'm just a little nervous because I thought I heard someone else walking, but it, it could have been my imagination. Okay, so this way is blocked off. And that's also locked, so there like aren't many options here right now. Let me head on down a bit carefully. Alright, let me turn off my flashlight real quick. Okay, this hallway seems fine. It's just that time I thought I also heard someone that wasn't me walking. 
but I think it's just me. Okay, let me come over here. Oh yeah, this might make sense. There might be keys down here or something. Um. Okay, so far I don't see any. Oh, what's this? Have you seen my dog? She goes by a name Belle and is really sweet. Small dog, black and white coat, gets cold very easily and loves being wrapped in a blanket. Stop reading. What's this? I live downstairs and I've always wanted to say this to you, but I've never had the guts, so here it goes. Are your shoes made of lead? <laughs> because you are the loudest upstairs neighbor in history. Oh, and you suck at bongos, but hey, keep practicing in the middle of the night before any important interview I've ever had. Flat 203. Which should be right near where I live. Alright, that was fun actually. Um, okay, so none of these seem interactable. I was hoping to find a key on the floor, but you know, it's fine. Can we use this fake gun? Okay, that looks decently secure. I like that. But it is a bit of a mess here. Oh, this isn't good. How did that guy get in here? Hello. What's up? You got- can I use those scissors for break- oh, give me this. 302, so that's key for 302. Which, I don't think I can even enter floor 302, the floor that it would be on. I think that door was locked and I can't get these keys, so like- I mean these scissors. I really want those scissors, are they sure I can't get these- there's no crouch option in this game. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure it out. It's fine. Maybe these are universal keys. You know? Okay, can I take this ladder? That's not. It's part of what's keeping the shamblers away, so. Okay, so let's see if we can actually get up to, uh... Let me close this, actually. Wait, is there not a door here? That's a bummer. Oh, this is open. Kind of. Like, I can't actually enter, but... Okay, so the elevator is off limits. Okay. And now let me, uh, check this very bottom floor if I can. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I can't open that to be honest with you. Okay, I think this is my floor. Oh, I left this open. I'm dumb. One second, let me, let me look around, make sure everything's all gooch in here. Make sure no one came in while I was, uh, while I just left that wide open. Why? Why did this work? It was not the key for this room. Alright, I'm a bit nervous. So I'm here for a screwdriver. Right. Let's clean his dishes for him. So I'm pretty sure the guy in this apartment's- oh fuck me. Oh fuck me, what is that noise? What up? Can I- can I get this? I need this. Red means spoopy. <laughs> funny. I- I need- I need the uh- can you- can you stop? And cut it out? Fuck! Damn, he scarred me. Alright, hopefully- He's just- he'll- he's not gonna go anywhere. Like I hear this other noise that I don't think is the zombie, but uh... Why am I just cleaning? Why am I cleaning for free? There are other things to worry about. Hmm. I can't go in there. Okay, oh there's the bucket that he was talking about. I could just toss my- oh wait no, we, we decided I would die if I went in that. Alright, I'm not really sure how to get the screwdriver from him right now. Um, yeah, let's clean. This is what we're here for. We're a woman character. This is what we do. Yep. Alright, all clean.
Hmm. Give me this. Oh, I, I saw the option for a second there. Stop it. Yes, I did it. Yippee. Alright. Let's close that. Give him the screwdriver. Wrong area. Put item in basket. Move washing line. Um move move washing line. There we go. I wonder if we'll get to see him. I forget what his name is, to be honest with you. Alright, he's not coming out for it. And there's some weird noise happening now. It's faint, but it's making me slightly concerned. Can we get in here? Block door. Very good. Alright. Well, before I blocked the door, I should have made sure no one came in once again. But I'm pretty sure it's fine. Alright, let's go see what he has to say about the screwdriver I gave him. Also, let me close that. Extra layer of defense. Okay, we got something. Oh. Uh, oh, it's in junk again. John Hudson. Life. Hello, is anyone alive? I'm alive and haven't seen anyone in over a year. Please, all I need is to know if someone is out there. I bet of you. I assume they meant to say beg. Alright, let me go to Yak. You kitty yak. Alright. Screwdriver sent. Heck yes, I'm going for it. Wait, first I was seeing some movement over there. Is everything okay? Henry was there, and he was a clicker. Like, full clicker, blind and everything, which means I'm living with a Z on my floor. Great. Well, that explains why he wasn't responding. Today, just the day for- wait. Today is just a day for finding out why people aren't talking to me, huh? Sorry. You think maybe if I took stuff more seriously that people would reach uh, out more, hmm? Maybe, haha. -ha. Anyway, things gonna go get my door fixed and think about things. Okay. Now what- now what I do? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what- can I talk to my sis and tell her that it went okay? Oh, here we go. Update for Willow. Willow, need to talk ASAP. Why? Yep, I'm here. What's going on? So there's a dude who lives across the hall from me, Henry. I uh, had to go into his apartment for reasons. Anyway, he was 100% the stage 2 thing you were talking about. A real life clicking Zed. Living across from you? Damn, okay. My information on that stage is pretty scant because, you know, we don't usually see him around these parts. Apparently they hide in the dark. Some sort of stage after a shambler blind? Seemed like it. Henry had his eyes bandaged and was making a clicking sound constantly. Yeah, I'll sources say that that stage is 100% eyeless and blind standard said otherwise though. As long as the door's shut and locked and yours is blocked up, it should all be fine. Okay, time out. One sec. You were in someone else's apartment. Did you know it was cleared out? For all you knew, it was a nest. So you remember Ollie? Do they? Wait, Ollie, Josh's friend, right? He's alive? And my neighbor. Yeah, he had a bail on his old place and ended up living in the complex across the street. Across the road. Whatever, same thing. Same level as me and everything. What? Were his parents living there? Did they have some property up that way for him to stay in? The dude's a man-child and frankly, I'm not surprised he hasn't grown up even though it's the end of the freaking world. I don't, I don't know why I'm censoring myself when reading the swearing. I mean, to be fair, the swearing's censored so maybe... I should read it as they intended with this censoring, but I don't know, it feels weird. Anyways, his mom just died, it's a dark joke, oh god, I'm so sorry, you're not gonna tell him I said that, are you? Uh, I kinda wanna joke around. We're both funny. He'll find it hilarious. It's the apocalypse, and oh no, I'm still a caddy, I'm gonna just curl up and die now. Oh, who's that? Who that? Who's messaging me? It's Holly. Let's see. <clears throat> you think maybe if I took stuff well anyways thanks gonna go get my wait Jill Ru oh fuck 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 I turned the flashlight off get in here I didn't get to fully read what he was writing but like bruh do the peek thing I'm peeking 
I just read that someone was breaking in. Oh my. It's a raider. Oh, 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 thank goodness. Phew. He got distracted by the alarm that I assume Ollie probably pulled. You wrecked my chair, bro. I don't think I can do anything about that right now, so I'm just gonna do this. Alright, let me... Front door... Ugh, girl, what am I supposed to block it with? The couch? Okay, here we go. Look. Okay, can I block it with, like, many chairs? Because obviously one chair is not doing it. Alright, let me see. <coughs> oh, by the way. The most important conversation still on the screen. Jill, Ron saw someone breaking into your building. Hide now. Jill, are you there? What's going on? So, I set off the car alarm. I think he saw me do it. Came up to my knock, kicked my door in. I was ready for him though. Never shot a person during this whole thing. Holy shit, it's a lot of blood. Like way more than I was ready for. Ollie, are you okay? Should I send something over? Hello? friend? Hmm. Should I send something over then? Oh, here we go. He's talking. Gah. Okay, um, listen. Remember that one date? We oh. I know it was a long time ago and I know that I was a bit of a shithead and I know that. Wait, and and I know that you and Josh are right for each other and all that, but I don't know what you think you're doing right now, but I'm not in a great space to hear how wonderful we have been together. No, it's not that. It's that I haven't seen you for five years and I don't want to die not knowing who you turned into because I got some bad news. You had bad news and you wasted time talking about that? What happened? So that reader, he managed to clip me pretty good. But now it's getting real hard to see and there's a lot of blood. Uh, Ollie, I need you to rip up a shirt and bind the wound. I can send you clean stuff to make bandages. Jill, I am 100% not going to make it. Show me your titties now. Is pretty much what he's saying. Not sure how much time I have left. I just want to die alone. Wait, I just don't want to die alone. Can you send me a photo of you? Hmm. Of course. Absolutely. I'll get it for you right now. How, how am I gonna get the picture? Someone in here. What is this noise? Also, how do I send a picture of myself? Do I, do I take it from the internet? Wrong, wrong thing. Um people page like she isn't he on my friends list I'm confused what's his name again Ollie so we'll go to Josh go here I don't see a message feature though so I don't think I can send him a message on here Do, does he want me to like physically bring him a picture in the basket oh can I go here Local disk, Chrome files. Uh, oh, whoops, my bad. Um, <clears throat> my pictures. Oh, I only have pictures of dogs. Uh, am I sure all I have is pictures of dogs? Looking at all these, trying to find a picture of myself. Like I said, I, he might mean a physical picture, so I could be wasting time here, but I'm not sure. Oh, here are some pictures. Here's one. And here's one. No, that's not not that one. This picture. How, how do I send it? How to, how to send? take this picture friend I don't know um yeah, I'm gonna assume a physical picture so that's what I'm gonna try to do yeah here we go he's gonna have a hard time jacking off to this picture since Josh is in it too but we're doing the best we can okay
put item in the basket. Move washing line. I want to see him. Uh, oh. I know I left my door open, but leave me alone, okay? He said he killed the reader, so I mean, things should be fine, right? Let's just do a sweep of the apartment again, real quick. I think we're probably pretty near the end of the game. Gonna see what Ollie has to say. All right, it's sent. It's there now. Thanks. This is a beautiful picture of you two. Jill, Josh left me something. I promised to get it to you. I'll send it if I can. Very dark. Ollie, you're not well. Save your strength, please. I'm sure it's not worth losing you too. Well, get it to the basket at least. I want to meet you there. Oh, finally. Will you be there when I get there? Yes. I'll be waiting there for you. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. It's just... He's he's talking different now. And it could just be because he's dying and it's just easier to type more shorter hand like this, but I, it, it's suspicious. This is suspicious. But I don't think there's anything else I can do. I don't think if I hide right now that's gonna save me. I think I have to deal with this interaction. I don't know if it's another raider or if it's a slightly smarter evolved zombie. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh, someone is there. Let me close this. What up? Oh, um, friend. Friend. No, no. Oh, wow, he turned really quickly, huh? Oh, give me the thing. Give me it. Alright. To my dearest Jill, so I'm doing this thing like we agreed. I don't really know what to put here, but I at least want you to have something in case anything happens to me. Know this first and foremost, Jilly R. I love you and always have since the day we met at the kebab shop. Since then, with you by my side, I felt like I could conquer anything. Something awful happened to me and thank my soul you are still alive. I know you must be at ribbons without me there with you, but I want you to keep moving forward. The world's in terrible shape right now and needs smart, strong, and capable people like you. You are my world. I hope you never have to read this. I love you, Josh. Oh, end game. So that's how it ends? Let's see. Thanks for playing. 40 minutes and 42 seconds. So for a free game, I think that was really great. I would give it an 810. I would play more of this game if, you know, they made more. I'd pay a whole dollar for it even. Maybe two dollars. So yeah. I hope you liked it too. And thanks for watching. Mm, so there's like some bonus content here on the side.